So it's currently 10.19 and this is early for me. <laughs> What's up? So, um, we got a little bit of a rough start this morning, but I'm really excited to take you guys throughout my day in the life of a freelance photographer. Just wanted to preface that this little day in my life video was filmed before quarantine. My routine since then has definitely changed. Instead of waking up at 10.30, it's more like 2 p.m. But even though this video was filmed a few months back, I hope you still enjoy it. So if you're curious on what I do for like a general work day, stick around. But the funny thing is that we're not actually shooting today, which you're probably like, then what are you doing? But there are a ton of things things that go into being a photographer that isn't just shooting. I saw this meme on Twitter that went over a photographer's like daily tasks and I was like, that's so relatable. Like that is, I mean, th those are my hours. Like I get it. But I did shoot yesterday. So I have all of those photos to edit and retouch today. I definitely won't get to all of them because I take a while to edit, but I'll definitely bring you along on the process. First things first, I'm going to make my bed. Um, I don't normally do that, but because you're here, I will. <laughs> And we're finished. All right, so I just got a bunch of packages in the mail and because this is like a day in my life, I wanted to open them for you. So the first one is from my publisher, Thought Catalog, that published uh, Luminescence and now is going to publish Ultraviolet. Why can't I open them? So this is Andrew Kern's photo book, How Does It Feel? And he actually also went through Thought Catalog to publish his own book. Yeah, I'm super excited to look through this, honestly. Next thing is this, what is this? I don't even remember what this is. Okay, so this is, I probably shouldn't be pointing there. This is actually like a fiber optic light whip thing. I don't know, I thought it'd be cool for photos. Uh, update, it actually was cool for photos. So here are some that I took with it. Push this to the side. Okay. Oh my god, that's actually really sick. Next thing is just some stuff from Urban Outfitters that I ordered. We have this kind of like black nylon puffer that I thought would look cool, you know, just walking around New York City. I don't know. Um, another update, it did not look cool walking around New York City. It quite literally looked like a trash bag when I tried it on. So that got returned. Okay, my battery's dying, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little random unboxing of things. Let's move on to the next thing. After that, I jumped on a call with Adobe Photoshop for some work I was contracted for. This lasted about an hour, and then I decided to pack up my things and head to a coffee shop to get some more work done. I don't always go out to get my work done. I honestly get pretty distracted when I do, so most days I like to work from home. But I think it totally helps when I have a few small things I want to get done. So this time around, I really wanted to answer some impending emails, one in specific about a camera giveaway I was doing with Nikon at the time. And then I also wanted to work on the interior of my upcoming photo book, Ultraviolet. What's up? I just got out of the coffee shop. It's now 5.30, so I spent a good few hours in there. I didn't get everything I wanted to get done, done. But now that it's completely dark out and I'm really hungry, I'm gonna get food, head home, and probably do some more work, to be honest. Maybe a nap as well. So as you can imagine, it's um, a little later in the day now. I ended up taking like an hour nap. I just woke up. FaceTiming some friends. Say hi. <laughs> and then I ended up doing a little bit of work from bed. So yeah, I already know that I'm gonna be up late tonight and I'm cool with it, I've accepted it, you know? And like I did mention yesterday, um, I had a photo shoot with a New York-based model. We uh, walked around Brooklyn, took a ton of photos, both digital and film. Uh, but now I'm gonna start narrowing down the selects and sort through which ones I actually want to go and edit. <laughs> Since this was filmed, I finished all the photos I was going through, so here they are. What's up guys, it is now present day. Like I mentioned earlier, this video was filmed a little while back, but I still hope it entertained you in some way. And if you'd like to see more kind of like vlog style videos from me, be sure to give this one a thumbs up. Things are definitely ever changing within my daily routine, especially recently with everything going on. I've honestly just been staying inside, playing a lot of Animal Crossing. 
um, and at the rare chance when I actually do feel inspired, I've been taking some self-portraits. But let me know what you guys are up to and how you're staying creative if you are. But yeah, with all of that, I will see you guys soon. Bye.